And this is IIR, Industrial Illusions Representative, and today I am really happy to be alive because uh, the new Subterra support just got leaked, and it is unbelievable. Um, so just a first round off, uh, I believe this all this came out from um, uh, OTS, like, official event or something, I'm not really sure. But um, I, I know it's been released, and uh, at least one of the cards, and one of the cards instantly makes the deck... Um, at least tier one, if not tier zero, it is unbelievable. So I'm gonna immediately go into it for you guys. It's gonna be quick. Um, we have to turn my head to my monitor. So, uh, so this is Subterra Fiendus. So Subterra Fiendus is level one Earth spellcaster, 800 attack, 500 defense, um, coming from Maximum Crisis. Uh, during either player's turn, when an opponent activates a card or effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one Subterra monster you control. Negate the activation, then change the targeted monster face down defense position. Uh, so that's pretty much like the first effect. The second effect is like more so, but it's just uh, such an enabler. I'm so excited for this. Um, so you can, so I guess as effect, you can target one face up monster you control, change it to face down defense position, and if you do, special summon one sub tier monster from your hand or graveyard in face up or face down defense position. Uh, you can only use each effect of sub tier feed this once per turn, and oh my gosh, um, there's really nothing else to say besides a um, couple things. Uh, you know, Nemesis Archer, that's going to be a really hard card um, to come by now, and same thing with the Hidden City. Um, not only that, but just some brief little things is that if we have one for one, I don't have one on me right now, but if we have one for one, and we use a one for one to bring her out, and enable her effect, and you have, let's say, a random sub tear in hand, or any of them, you can uh, discard that one for one, bring out your um, chick, uh, the Subterra Fiendus, and then you uh, uh, activate her effect to flip herself face down, so you can special uh, summon uh, two more, pretty much. Uh, and it won't miss timing because it's worded the way um, it is, and it's off of one for one you get Nemesis Warrior in Grave. Not only that, but um, y your stuff can't be striked now, because uh, Nemesis Warrior is in Grave, and uh, if you... Uh, have this in hand, you can set it, and then uh, protect all your guys from being blown out. So it is an amazing first turn board enabler. Not only that, but it is an even more broken hand trap. Because um, that's just from one for one. And then you summon her, and you're set. So imagine this is her, and um, you know, you set uh, her and everything else, and done all that stuff. This is pretty much what a board will look like, uh, just off of two cards. So, it is uh, really, really, really good. Um, just to see how like all this is uh, playing out like the sub terrors they save the sub terrors for the best for the best for last and it, it's rewarding the people who uh, lived really strong and hard through the dark times of the, not really getting a well decent or uh, I don't know how you'd say it but decent sub terror support um, but yeah uh, that's it you got sub terror fiendus and we're excited to show you the next ones uh, in the coming weeks, uh, this is Industrial Illusions representative signing out. You have a wonderful day, YouTube.